social media user. Twitter precisely have reacted to an online presidential poll conducted by TVC Hausa. Say, TVC to get the CG Hausa eh, version. Okay. Now, BBC, I know TVC. That's a Tinubu say, television station. Where the poll had the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Me Tinubu, the People's Democratic Party presidential aspirant Alaji Waziri Atiku Abubaka, the new Nigeria People's Party. Presidential aspirants Rabi Musa Kwakwansu and the Labour Party presidential aspirants Peter Obi, Peter Gregory Obi. However, while listing the names of the participants, the title Pastor was put before the name of the former governor of Anambra State, and this has led to mixed reactions. Peter Obi's name was written as Pastor Peter Obi. Hey, Peter, for where? Peter Obi, Peter Obi, oh, nobody don't even. It, even it will be to it will be same now even doctor. They know they put even if you could doctor, people, don't, people are not even people are not conversant with that name. Doctor or anything before Peter B. So why pastor? Hmm. Now we say he get why. He get why they do. Eh? He go get why. Pastor Peter B. Can you imagine? There were mixed reactions from Twitter users after the poll, which seemed to have been brought down. Surface more so, Peter B scored 37 percent votes in the poll. Okay, well, why Peter? Why did this thing? This is pathetic, stalking ethnic fires. Servers seems down, can't assess. Okay, uh -huh. be like we'll be then don't invade them. Okay, those people are terrible. When Peter B come become pastor, they did it on purpose. Don't just be this, don't be deceived. They did it on purpose to control the perspective of northern voters to think he's a pastor. He, you see the problems of Nigeria. Where is the pastor coming from? Oh, just retweet the poll, even if they write in Arabic and call him Pope Peter Obi, he will still win. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, TVC Hausa just want to carry out campaign to smear the image of Peter will be in the north, and that is height of unprofessionalism. Men can only try, but God, we always do his. That is to show you the level of illiteracy in the north. Northern is a northern tribe is the only tribe in the world that are proud to be poor and illiterate. May Almighty God continue to bless them with that. Okay, what they are doing is politics. Not what you think. They are the people with the highest form of mindset ready to be used. Is it not laughable to hear TVC is conducting a presidential poll that is obviously geared towards propagating the candidacy of their principal? You people should continue to deceive yourselves. The Nigerian populace will be the final arbiters at the end of everything. No doubt about that. What do you expect from TVC? Owned by a man with that past called Tinumbu. A pastor is a servant of God. If Obi is a pastor, I will still vote him anyway. And because that is your own mindset. They know exactly what they are doing. That is your own mindset now. How many of those people know the, the meaning of that? Or have the same mindset like yours? But why is everyone attacking only... Oh no, do you guys want to continue first life simply on a tribal basis it's another way of creating of telling northern muslims that peter Obi is a christian fanatic pure apc agenda hmm okay that's it well tvc tinumbu is the owner what do you expect that is a politics to put houses on their tools not to vote a pastor this tactic was used in play too during sdp an NRC campaign which totally discredits the NRC candidates. This is why we call on our journalists to be politically free in their reportage. But when you call for their training and enlightenment, they rub more with politicians for gratification. This journalistic corruption led the media aides to Labour Party to sponsor an AUSA program on the on this channel to refute this allegation. You are correct, Mr. Enoche. Let's uh, party sponsor their own in our language 
on a brand name of any news stance that has the sympathy of Peter Obi and Dati and counter them that pass, uh, Peter Obi is not pastor do their polls. I'm ashamed of this act of TVC. They truly have lost it 100%. It is laughable and stupid. When I try to vote, it said I have already voted. Question is, who did I even vote? Wallahi, wallah deal. A pastor attached to his name is to scare Hausa Muslim religious fanatics away from the that was that was conducted, conducted by the owner of Tinubu Television Corporation. What do you think? 37% even with the unsolicited title they put against his name to turn the fanatical Muslims away from voting him. It's a good one. Will be for all religious moderates who respects the fate of other people. Will be that all the way. They did that so that they will say is a pastor. They won't vote him. All your plans will fall. Obi is the answer. You can never bring down a star. Call him whatever. He remains a man of glowing personality. Election shouldn't even be do or die affair. Mm. Those who did not, they don't have uh, anything to do apart from uh, policies. That's why you see that wife or children or picking all of them. They, 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 they do the this thing. They will say that they support, support to what that's uh, all their tactics and their gimmicks, Nigerians are getting them every day by day. And I'm so grateful to those who raise the alarm. Anytime I look back, I'm so grateful to those who raise the alarm. A lot of people didn't even know because you at times uh, you think that some people on uh, their own is just too much. Those who raise the alarm concerning Ruga, huh, they saw it. Even after that time, people never even, a lot of people didn't even think through. And it was after that Ruga rejection that they began to show themselves. This full and yes, maybe they began to show themselves. A lot of people would do that. No, they would just say, I beg, it doesn't matter. I'm going to live and I'm waiting. Uh -huh. be just, so that to even help them, you begin to have mercy I and mean, you're pitying them. Uh, is it because they're always moving around so that uh, this, uh, their, their cows will have more nutrients. Their children will be able to go to school. They will not be moving around. There will be nothing like uh, uh, people encroaching other people's farms and all of that. A lot of people would have just fallen for that. At the end of the day, it should not be a problem. People will not be regretting. So those who raised that alarm, they really tried. And at the end of the day, people began to understand that ah, it is true. It is true. It is true. Somebody was asking a question that said, when did we get to this level of hatred amongst ourselves? I said that it's, it's, it was not really like that. You know, just like uh, the way people always accuse uh, these uh, British people. They have uh, this uh, subtle, subtle, subtle way of uh, passing their message, but they will not come out directly. That was what has been happening in Nigeria before. But when Buhari came on board, it was Buhari that just brought out everything. He just came to tell us that this is the kind of person he is. He was the one that brought this uh, hatred and this every if everything just escalated. So if you are asking that when did we start eating ourselves, having this business now Buhari Kosa? Nani Kosa. Even if those things were there, people were trying to manage it. No, it can't be. No, we just have to continue that's how you see people marrying themselves you know each tribe marrying themselves but this man came and just told us that this is the way he wants to do it and that is why we have problems today